Are we complicit in perpetrate? Are we complicit in perpetrate? Complicit in perpetrating? Perpetuating? Perpetuating? Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben. Today we're diving into Interior Chinatown, the new series based on Charles Yu's critically acclaimed book. If you've seen my reviews, you know I love a good adaptation. And this one had me laughing, th thinking, which is terrible, <laughs> and making me feel all the feels. Is it perfect? No. But is it worth your time? Well, let's find out. So talking about the synopsis and themes, Interior Chinatown follows Willis Yu, played by the always charismatic Jimmy O. Yang, as he navigates life as an Asian-American actor trapped in Hollywood's endless cycles of cliched roles, from generic Asian man to the dreams of becoming the Kung Fu guy. Willis's journey is both profound, personal, and, and hilariously satirical. But don't be fooled, this show isn't just about Hollywood stereotypes, it's about all the stereotypes. It's about how society pigeonholes people based on their appearance, sound, or origin. Interior Chinatown holds up a mirror to all of us, asking some big questions, some uncomfortable questions. Are we complicit in perpetuating these stereotypes? Do we limit ourselves or others by the roles we accept or assign? This show dives headfirst into those themes without losing its humor or its heart. So talking about the cast, this is a perfect ensemble cast and you got to talk about Jimmy O. Yang because he is the main protagonist here and he absolutely nails his role as well as you. You might recognize him from Silicon Valley or Crazy Rich Asians, but this role I personally think it's his best role. Willis is relatable, vulnerable, and quietly hilarious. You'll root for him even when he's stuck playing roles like background oriental male in a cop procedural, which is the story in the story. Speaking of the procedural, Chloe Bennett plays Detective Lana Lee, and she's great. If you're a Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. fan, you already know Chloe can act, but here, she's in a whole new ballpark. Her character represents someone who's fought both tooth and nail to carve out a space in the world, doesn't quite know what to do with her. Fun fact about Chloe, she changed her last name from Wang to Bennett earlier in her career to dodge Hollywood's frustrating pigeonholes, which is uh, very poignant for this role. She leans into her personal history, adding extra layers to her performance. Ronnie Cheng as Fatty Chow is comedic gold. Every scene he's in had me cracking up. His banter with Willis and the other characters is sharp, it's dry, and it's tone perfect. Sullivan Jones as Miles Turner, Lisa Gilroy as Sarah Green, and the legendary Sao Ma as Joe Wu round out the cast beautifully. Sao Ma is, as always brings gravitas to the roles that he's in, and whenever he is in it, he's often the emotional background for what we're watching. Let's talk about the comedy, satire, and break the mold of traditional TV. When you talk about humor, Interior Chinatown is dry, biting, and unapologetic in its satire. Some jokes might fly way over your head if you're not paying attention, but when they hit, and you're paying attention, they hit really well. The show isn't afraid to poke fun at Hollywood, society, and even itself. One of my favorite moments is seen early on where Willis, Fatty, and Carl argue over Detective Lana Lee's ethnicity while watching her on TV. It's absurd and awkward, but it's painfully honest. The way the show plays with stereotypes is brilliant. It exaggerates them, flips them on their heads, and forces you to confront your own bias. I'm talking about the direction and cinematography. The directors here deserve a shout out. Stephanie Lang, John Lee, Pete Chatman, and the rest of the team bring their A-game. They seamlessly switch between the glossy, over-the-top Hollywood style and the gritty, intimate moments of Willis' real life. The cinematography by Mike Berlecci and Tara Siegel is stunning. The way they frame scenes adds to the depth of the satire, whether it's the harsh, bright lights of the cop show or the set of the muted tones in Willis's life. And when we get to see his struggles, the reflection of the cinematography reflect what he's going through. And hey, Taika Waititi directed an episode, I think it's episode one actually, maybe two. So you know it will have that kind of signature quirky flair if you like his stuff. When we're talking about the book, from book to screen, the book fans, I think, 
I kind of find it hard not to compare, but honestly, I think it does pretty well. The series captures the essence of Charles Yu's novel while making it its own thing. It keeps the meta narrative intact, blending the fictional cop show with Willis's reality in a fresh way. Some details are tweaked, it was always going to be that way, but the heart of the story still remains the same. The fight against invisibility and the struggle of self-worth, which is very prevalent today and definitely a theme we need to be talking about. This show isn't just all about its themes and tones and its message. In here we get a lot of action and we get a hell of a lot of fun which kept me watching. I don't mind when a show or series is preachy as long as it's not preachy and overbearing at the same time. You can have a message but still let your viewer enjoy the series. And that's why I'm recommending this series to you, because I had so much fun watching it. There's some solid fight choreography here, paying homage to the kung fu tropes the show is critiquing. But the real fight is internal, the battle to break free from the boxes we're put in. So my final thoughts are this. Is Interior Chinatown worthwhile watching? Yes, 100%. It's intelligent, funny and thought-provoking with standout performances from Jimmy O. Yang and Chloe Bennett, and the rest of the cast. The show's a little confusing at first if you're not familiar with the book or its satirical tone, but stick with it, it's a wild, rewarding ride. I'm giving Interior Chinatown a solid 4 out of 5 Nicolas Cages. I was a little drunk. Plus, I was horny. It's not perfect, but it's one of the most unique shows I've seen this year. Let me know what you think of the show, if you're gonna get to it, or if you read the book, I would, I would equally like to know, did it make you laugh, cry, think about your role in the grand theater of life? I want to hear about it all. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more reviews like this. And as always, remember, live long and Tuesday.